Good evening everyone! Good evening Body of Christ! Welcome po sa ating Power Wednesday. So midweek na naman at Wednesday na naman and it's time again for our Power Wednesday. So kung hindi pa po natin nagagawa, so itag na po natin ang ating mga loved ones, ang ating friends, yan, ang ating mga co-workers um, dyan sa comment box so that Every one of us can hear the word of God is Power Wednesday. Ang bilis po ng araw, di ba? Parang nakatulog mo lang Wednesday na naman. So, it's another opportunity and another day to receive the word of God. So, palakpahan po natin ang Panginoon. For tonight, I'm so excited to share the word of God. And um, bago ko po simulan, ay meron po muna akong mga katanungan um, sa inyong lahat. And you can also comment down. So, ito po ang ating tanong for this evening. So, what are your top 3 morning routinary activities? Yan. So, ano ba yung pagkagising po natin? Ano po yung mga top 3 na ginagawa po natin sa umaga? Siyempre, buksan mo muna yung mata mo, di ba? Mumula mo muna, gigising ka muna. After nun, ano yung mga usual na ginagawa mo, okay? So, ako po, una, um... Siyempre, gising, baba, at uh, maghihilamos, yan, para ma-freshen up ako. And, um, number two is, um, ayusin ko ang aking higaan. And, syempre, don't forget, morning prayer and devotion. Ayan. So, yan po ang ating morning routine, routine activities, routinary activities. So, pag sinabi po natin routine, yan po yung lagi-lagi po natin ginagawa. There are times na ma out of routine po pero most of the time every day yun po ang ating um, laging ginagawa okay so comment down below yung top 3 mo syempre dapat binawawala dyan ng morning prayer and devotion okay kung nagpa-participate ka dyan yes and um, so sa so umaga po every time that we wake up related po kasi dyan sa pagising sa umaga diba every time that we wake up Meron po tayo talagang mga moments na um, ha, ito yung mga tanong na pwede kong um, isipin or pwede natin tingnan every morning. How do you wake up most mornings? Yan. Paano daw ikaw nagigising sa bawat umaga? Yan. So sa mga babies minsan, magandang gising. para nakarelate dito yung mga babies, no? Ang mga babies minsan maganda gising, di ba? Minsan pangit gising kasi gigising sila, umiiyak sila. Tayo naman, mga adults, how do you wake up most morning? So, meron tayong idiomatic expression na sinasabi na, I did not wake up in the good side of the bed. O, ibig sabihin, ma, hindi maganda yung gising mo. Yan. Or meron naman, ano ba yan, ah, maganda yung gising mo, di ba? Fresh na fresh, you feel fresh, you feel refreshed, kasi... Masarap yung tulog mo. So, may mga ganun. And, ito naman next question ko. How many of you has a struggle of waking up in the morning? Wow, minsan relate ka dyan. Lalo na yung mga nagpupuyat. Diba? Yung mga k-drama. Siyempre, uy, one episode na lang. <laughs> Lala, una na pala. So, minsan we struggle waking up in the morning. Okay? So, yan. Yan yung mga uh, challenges natin everyday. So, everyday... We have a choice to make every mor morning when we wake up. And usually, whatever we choose to think and do at the beginning of the day will somehow define our entire day. Agree ba dyan? Amen? Diba? Sometimes what we um, think about first, yan, sampod, oh, wala na kaming pera. Ako, ano pang bilhin ng ulam? Yun na yung magdi-define minsan ng entire day mo. Diba? Yun na yung um, magpapagana sa buong araw mo. Yun na yung mag-fuel sa'yo. So, that is when we think negative things, when we wake up, ang tendency po niyan is, you will embrace the thoughts, negative thoughts the entire day. Diba? Yun nga, sa pulang ulam, walang pera, diba? Negative thoughts yan. If you choose to act or behave negatively when you wake up in the morning, syempre, ang tendency niyan, you will act and behave negatively the entire day. Irritable na tayo, di ba? On the other hand, when we choose to think positive things or positivity, when we choose to behave in a manner that is pleasing to God and honoring Him, then our entire day will be filled with peace, joy, and love. Amen po ba? 
So this evening, um, let me share to you um, at the title of um, the uh, the title for this evening would be the world or the words. Sabi ko nga po, every morning we have a choice. So will we choose the negative one or the positive one? So again, we will choose the word or the world. We will choose the world or the word. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, salamat po for this evening. Salamat Panginoon Diyos sa nagdaang araw at Panginoon sa gabi ito. Mga Panginoon kami po ay inyong samahan. Sama-sama uh, po kami matuto Panginoon sa inyong mga salita Panginoon. And as we end, um, as we receive your word for this evening, Panginoon, may you change us, Panginoon. Uh, may you um, transform us, Lord God, by your word. Lord. Thank you, Jesus, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So, yun na nga po, no? Will we choose the word or the world or the word? So, will you choose the world and yourself? Or will you choose God and His Word? So there's only one letter difference po dyan sa words na yan, And that is letter L. But it has a big impact. Ba? Word, world and Word. It really has a big impact in our lives, whatever we choose. Whether the world or the Word. So it's really important that we know where and what to stand every morning at the start of day. Maybe a challenge to some of us to wake up in the morning. Diba? Challenge na magising ng maaga. At uh, um, maging on time. But we can relate. Um, but what to think and what to do after waking up is another challenge. Diba? Kung challenge ang pagising, kung sa iba hindi challenge yung pagising. Pero yung ano yung um, pipiliin mo? Or ano yung um, what, is your, what is your choice at that start of day? Sometimes to some of us. It is a challenge because again, your first thoughts, your first actions at the start of the day will really affect the entire day, will define the entire day. So, um, lagi mong in the morning, isipin mo, ano ba gagawin ko ngayon? Oh, yun na naman pala yung gagawin ko ngayon. Ah, yun na naman pala yung gagawin ko ngayon. So, at the start of the day, you will always make a choice, di ba? Are you going to choose the word? Or are you going to choose the world? Sabi po dyan, what drives your life after waking up in the morning? What drives your life? So, sabi niya dito, The man without a purpose is like a ship without a rudder, a wave, a nothing, a no man. Yan, from Thomas, um, from Thomas Carlyle. So another question for us today is, What drives our life after waking up in the morning? Ano ba yung nagpapatakbo sa buhay mo? O ano ba yung magpapatakbo sa araw mo sa ngayon? Diba? Bukas, ano magpapatakbo na naman ng araw natin? What will what will drive us in the morning? And sabi nga po dyan, without purpose, life is a motion, a movement, a pattern without meaning. So para lang tayo isang trompo na paikot-ikot-ikot lang, pero wala naman po talaga tayo na pupuntahan. Life is an activity without decision, direction, and target, or life like an event without reason. It is a it is pointless and meaningless. So, kapag ganun tayo, ano ba yung nagdrive sa atin? What drives us? What drives our life after waking up in the morning? So, yun ang tanong ko po ngayon. What drives your life after waking up in the morning? So let's um, delve into the word drive. It's a verb. Ito po siya ay action word. It means ito po ay to guide, to control, or to direct. So yung nagda-drive sa'yo sa umaga, yun ang mag-guide sa'yo, yun ang mag-control sa'yo, at yun ang mag-direct sa'yo. Okay? Something. Okay? So waking up is challenging, but to think... What to do every waking up is another challenge. Tama ba yun? But the other question is, what drives our life after waking up in the morning? Ano ba talaga yung driver ng buhay natin um, when we wake up in the morning? Diba? Marami reasons, but one of the reasons are uh, materialism. So, 
it some people are driven by materialism their desire to acquire and to gain as um the whole goal of their lives so, yun na talaga yung goal ng buhay nila diba to acquire something to gain something diba they they wake up um to earn money they wake up to gain something may it be like money or high grades ganyan for students diba sa ating mga negosyante um profit okay don't get me wrong po, ah. I'm not saying that earning money and having high grades are bad or should not be a goal of anyone. Pwede maging goal po yan. But to make this as the totality of our being, as the definition of our life, as a driving force in our life, then that comes as a problem. Diba? Remember, possessions only provide temporary happiness. But God says sa um, 2 Corinthians verse Four to eighteen, it says there. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Amen. So since sabi po dyan na God, um, it doesn't say that having um, riches, having more money, will give you happiness. Yes, it can temporarily. It, but um. You know, God is telling us the most valuable, valuable things in life are not things or are not those tangible things na nakikita po natin. What the more important things are those that are not seen. Amen po ba? Um, these are like good deeds, our service for the Lord, and our act of love to Him and to other people. Amen? So, um, if you're one of those people who are driven by materialism, check our heart. Diba? God says that we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. These are just temporary. Yes, we can acquire um, riches, but God wants to focus, wants us to focus on things that are unseen. Amen. And next man, um, what are the driving forces of other people are? The need for approval. Amen? So many people are driven by the need of approval. People allow the expectation of their parents or their spouses or their children or teachers or friends to control their lives. May mga um, moments na yung mga taong yun or yung approval ng mga taong yun ang driving force na ng ating buhay. Many um Many adults are still trying to earn approval of unpleasable parents. Diba? Uh, may mga, oh naku, may kakilala akong ganyan, pero hindi ko nababangitin. There are times na wala nang true happiness na nararamdaman because they're just pleasing um, other people. So, some people are driven by that. That's really the definition of their life, the approval of others. Diba? Sometimes we are driven by peer pressure. Diba? We're always worried about what others might think, might think or uh, say. And that's a key to failure. When we seek approval ng kung sino-sino, sometimes it's really a failure. Diba? Because we cannot please everybody. Sabi ni, um, sabi ni John Maxwell, John sa... Uh, Sabi niya po dito, I do not know all the keys to success, but one key to failure is to try to please everyone. Where we are uniquely made. And hindi natin kayang ma-please ang kahit sino. Diba? So, that's one key to failure. So, if that's one of the driving forces of your life, check your heart. Diba? Are you are you living only to please others? It's a fact that we can't please everybody. Amen? And so, sabi dito sa Galatians um, 1 verse 1, For I am now seeking the approval of man, or of, for I am now seeking the approval of man, or of God, or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of God. So, from Galatians, it says there that um, we, we, are serving God. 
we should be serving we should be servants of God and we are not people pleasers the number one that we should please in our lives is of course of course our Lord amen so yun po dapat yung mas nagiging driving force natin sa ating buhay diba not to um, seek approval from others but the approval that comes from the Lord. Amen po ba? Pai comment po dyan, I need God's approval. And it says even here in um, uh, Matthew 6 verse 20. Sabi pa dito sa Matthew 6 verse 24, No man can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot, you cannot serve God and money. By pleasing man and not pleasing God, we deny the fact that we are servants of God and that we were created to please only the true and living God and not the people around us. Amen? So, Matthew 6.24 also says, No one can serve two masters. Amen? If we only choose one, we should only choose one master and that is no other than Jesus. When we surrendered our lives to Him, we recognize Him as the Lord of our lives. Lord means He is our Master. We obey Him, we surrender to Him, and we follow Him. Diba? Jesus is our Lord and Master, and we choose the Word and not the world. Amen? So, what other drivers do you have when you wake up in the morning? Some are driven by worries and fears. Ayan, ah, relate yung mga karamihan po dito, di ba? Sometimes, um, we are driven by worries and fears. Pagkagising pa lang natin sa umaga, wow, ano na naman ang kakainin namin this, up, this morning, di ba? People are driven with fears and worries, often miss to, uh, often miss great opportunities. Amen? Agree ba tayo dyan? Um, kapag nag-worry po tayo, marami tayong mga namimiss na opportunity in life because we are afraid to venture out and try new and better things. Amen? Instead of, um, so instead of playing safe and avoiding any risks and trying to be, um, instead of, you know, um, risking, we avoid it. Sometimes you avoid it and we try to be on the maintenance mode. Amen? Nandun lang tayo sa maintenance. Ayun na natin mag-venture out. Diba? Remember this. Fear is a self-imposed prison that will keep you from becoming what God intends you to be. Amen? And worry is the enemy of hope and faith. The Bible will tell us that we must move against fear and worry with the weapons of love and faith. Amen po ba? So, if that is the driving force of your mourning, diba? Surrender it all to the Lord. Yung worry na yan. Yung fear na yan. Diba? God says that we should not worry. It's, it's hindering um, us. It's a self-imposed prison. It's the enemy of hope and faith. So, if that's the driving force of your life, Iwan mo na yan. It says their fear and worry can be moved with love and faith. Amen? So by faith, diba, we can move mountains. So iwan na natin ang fear and worry. Sabi sa 1 John 4, 18, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Amen? So there is no fear in love. Fear is washed away by perfect love. And worry ends when faith begins. Amen? Pakicomment nga po dyan. Worry ends when faith begins. Sabi sa 2 Corinthians 5 verse 8, For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen? Why worry if you can worship? Diba? Why dwell in your problems when you can sing praise? Amen? Pakicomment nga po dyan, I will worship. I will praise, di ba? Kasi, iwan na natin ang worry and fear, di ba? How about that, mga kapatid? What is your for, foremost, what is the, um, foremost in your mind and heart when you wake up? Is it worry? Is it fear? Di ba? Labanan natin yan with love and faith, di ba? With worship and praise. So, when we choose, um, 
when we choose the word and the truth offered to us by God, those things are left behind. Amen? Worry and fear. So, what will you live for? Is it the word, world, or the word? The challenge for us tonight, and if we decide to succeed in life, to experience our moniker of significant significant success of this year is to choose not to conform into the pattern of this world but to decide to choose and follow God. Amen? And to please Him and to honor Him and obey Him and love and serve Him. Let us realize that the life that we have comes from Him and that everything the reasons of the reason of everything in our life is for God and God alone and His glory. Amen? So ngayon, meron tayong choice. Will we choose the world or we, will we choose the word? Will we choose to live for the world or will we choose to live for God? When you choose the word, ito yung mga benefits po niyan. Number one, life becomes meaningful. Amen? When we choose the word and not the world, when we choose God and not the pattern of this world, life becomes meaningful. There will be meaning because ang Panginoon Diyos ay nasa atin. Without God, life has no meaning. Amen? Because God, uh, when He created us, when He created to have, um, He created us to have a meaning. When life has a meaning, you can bear almost everything. Amen? You will endure, you will strive, you will not give up, you will do everything because your life has meaning. Amen? Without its meaning, nothing is bearable. You easily give up, you surrender. You quit. Diba? Kapatid, no quitting. Wag po tayong mag-quit. Let us not give up. Let us together strive for God's glory because of the victory we have in Christ Jesus. Amen? Ano ba yung benefit when we choose the word? Life will be meaningful. What else? Uh, sabi pa po dyan sa Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, to give you hope and a future. And in very famous lines po yan ang galing sa Panginoon. When we choose to, uh, when we choose the word, we will have a meaningful life. And that is a uh, life that has a hope and a future. Amen? Sabi rin po sa Ephesians 3 verse 20, Now to him who is able to, immeasur to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Amen. Today, maaring kinakaharap mo, may mga kinakaharap tayong impossibility sa araw, impossible situation. But Ephesians 3 verse 2 says that God is able to do more than we ask or imagine. Imagine? Di mo ma-imagine, di ba? So, yung impossible things or impossible circumstance or situation that you have right now, may panglaban dyan si Lord. Things that we ha haven't seen yet. Um, immeasurable, unimaginable, according to His power that is at work within us. God is an infinite God without boundaries. He's limitless um, and beyond um, our, He's beyond our highest prayers and desires, highest thoughts and prayers. Amen? So, if you are in that impossible situation, God has an answer for you this evening. Amen? So number two, when we choose to use when we choose the word, life becomes simple. Amen. Kung pag complicated yung relation mo, but nas or complicated yung relation na pinasok mo, di ba? Simple lang. Choose to use the word. Choose the word. Amen. Life without God, life is complicated. Amen ba? Actually, pag nasa Panginoon ka, simple lang talaga buhay. May contentment, may peace. Pero if you choose the world, napaka-complicated. Napakarami mong isipin. Marami kang mga stress sa buhay. Simple means life is helping you to define what you do and what you do not do. You know the standard of living and you use to evaluate things that are essential and what are not. Diba? What are pleasing and glorifying to God. And what are self-centeredness, what are good and what are evil, what are for God and what are for Satan, our enemy. Life is simple, so do not take make things complicated. So if you want a simple life, choose the word of God. Amen? 
instead of the world. Amen. Sabi dito sa Philippians 4 verse 8, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Diba? Paul gives us the hint on what to think and what not to think. He gave us the specific nature or kinds of or types of things to think and to choose to think, di ba? True sa totoo lang, di ba? Yung totoo lang, yung noble, yung right, yung pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy things. Yun yung mga sinasabi sa atin na yun yung mga isipin natin. Let us think such things. It's not an option for us, di ba? These are a must. Amen? These are must things to think and do. Yan. And ano ang mararanasan? Mararanasan ng isang krisyano kapag yan ang ginawa niya. Sabi dyan sa Philippians 4 verse 9, Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen from me, the word, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Amen? Simple lang. Think about those good things and life will be simple. There's peace Peace from God will be with us. That, amen? Choosing the word is an assurance that the God of peace will, will be with us. Amen. So number three, life, when we, choose to, when we choose the word, life prepares you for eternity. Amen? Without God, life will be perish. perish. Choosing the word and the things in this world is not short is that a short and temporary goal? Amen? So when we choose the word, di ba? Ang magiging goal po natin dyan is eternity. Choosing the world and the things in this world is a short temporary goal. But the wiser use of time is to build an eternal things on earth. Amen? We are created for eternity. We are created to prepare for eternity. And we are created for God's glory. Amen? When we choose the word, we are choosing eternity. Amen? Sabi dyan sa John 14 verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. One day we will stand before God and we'll do an audit of our life. The final question and answer, the final exam before you enter eternity. What did you do, my son, Jesus Christ? He will ask you, what did you do? With what I gave you. Ba? Ano daw ginawa natin sa binigay niya sa atin? What did you do with your life? So, tonight, let us choose Jesus over our lives. Let us choose Jesus over than the offer of this world. Amen? As John 14 verse 6 says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the only way to achieve the gift of eternal life. And as we end, as we end, I will leave this verse to you. A verse that would make Jesus greater than us. That Jesus must increase and that we must decrease. Sabi niya dyan, sa John 3 verse 13, contemporary English version, it says there, Jesus must become more important while I become less important. Amen? When we choose the word instead of the world, God is magnified. Jesus is magnified. Jesus is exalted. Amen? Jesus is um, bigger. Getting bigger. Diba? Sa ating mga buhay. And as we um, end this evening, my prayer is that we become less God will become more in our life. God will become more important. God will become bigger in our lives than us. Our selfish self becomes less important because, amen. Thank you, CRCC family. Good night. Shalom.